Hello, my name is Russell Singer with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This brief video will demonstrate how to enable the SSH client on a VMware ESXi 5.x host. This procedure can be useful if you're trying to connect from the command line interface of this ESXi host to another server out on your network. It can also be used to secure copy files between other hosts on the network and this ESXi server. Now to get started, you do need to open the vSphere client and connect to your ESXi host. I've already done that here and I've logged in with the root login. First, I need to select my ESXi host that I want to configure, which is in the tree on the left. Once I've done that, I then need to select the configuration tab in the window on the right. Now, once you've selected the configuration tab, you then need to choose the security profile option, which is in the menu on the left under the software category. That will bring up the services and firewall configuration for the security profile on this server. And currently what you're able to see under the firewall category is a list of services that are allowed for both incoming and outgoing connections. You'll notice that in neither case is SSH allowed. Now obviously to enable SSH connections outgoing, we need to configure the firewall to allow that port, the SSH port for outgoing connections. So for that, we'll scroll back up towards the top of the screen here. And on the right side of your screen, you'll find a properties link there. If you click that, it will open the firewall properties for this ESXi host. Now, once you do that, you're presented with a window that allows you to enable or disable specific services uh, through the firewall. So you'll see here that by default, both the SSH server and SSH client, which is what we want in this case, are disabled or unchecked. So in order to enable SSH client connections outbound from this server, all we need to do is simply check the box next to the SSH client and click the OK button in this window. Now keep in mind that this is only for outbound SSH connections from the server and typically, in order to connect using SSH from this server to another server, you would do that through the command line interface. And as you can see from the list there, if we scroll down to the bottom of the firewall list under the category for outgoing connections, we will see the SSH client listed there and the port that it's used for outbound, using for outbound connections, which is port 22. Now, if you're trying to connect via SSH, to another host which uses a different TCP port number, then you would need to configure that when you configure the, or you enable the service in the firewall. So now assuming I was already connected to the command line interface of my ESXi host, the server that we just enabled SSH client services for, what I should be able to do is SSH from this server or secure copy from this server to another server on the network. And I can confirm that very easily by running the SSH client and pointing it to an external server. If my connection is successful, then I know that I have successfully configured the SSH client on this ESXi host. Now for security purposes, it is a good idea to go back to your firewall configuration, select the properties option again, and disable the SSH client use once you're finished with it. This will ensure that there are no connections established which you are not aware of. So we can very simply do that by going back to the uh, same SSH client option there in the list after we open the firewall properties and deselecting the checkbox that says SSH client. Once we do that and select OK, the firewall will no longer allow outbound SSH connections on port 22. Thank you for your time today. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.